called it's we'll see three ways for it it simply says that remove nodes from linked list it's very simple uh, it says that we are given the head of a linked list usually you are always given the head i guess that's what you like uh, i mean not okay uh, remove every node which has a node with a greater value anywhere to the right of it what it means it means that okay i see okay this is a node 5 i have to go and look for a node which is on the right of it i will go and look for the right node which is on the right of it i can see a node which is on the right of it and is more than it so i will have to remove it so i can see a 5 and a node on the right of it which is 13 which is more than 5 for sure so i will have to remove 5 not 13 remove 5 okay then it is removed go on next node 2 i can see on the right of it i have a higher value node which is 13 okay remove this also 13 i cannot see anyone on the right on the right of it which is higher than it don't remove it keep it okay 3 i can see on the right of it which is the higher value than it which is 8 remove it 8 okay nothing on right so keep it so this is the final answer which is 13 and 8 so very obviously one very basic case which comes to our mind is okay Aryan, um i see that in a link list if i am at a node one way is i will have to iterate on the entire right portion right portion and then will have to look for a node which is higher than me and then which is the next iteration which means i am at this node which is my pointer is here p i will again iterate from this pointer starting from p again iterate on the right if i see someone higher than me then i will make sure to remove it we know how to remove a node if not then i will show you later on also okay which means okay for one node i am in worst case iterating the entire list okay next node p again iterate the entire list forward again next node p again iterate the entire list so basically if we go on by default with the linked list approach and not taking anything else i know i will have to do a o of n square operation that's painful okay yeah it is how to improvise it okay um uh, if i think of this as an array if this would have been an array what i could have used okay if this would have been an array so instead of linked list i would have something like 5 2 13 3 and 8 and now if ever i would have asked you what all bad nodes are there as you can see bad node is 5 2 3 and 8 sorry 3 so these are all the bad nodes how you know these are the bad nodes because i know that if i go on from the suffix i will encounter a higher element which means right side right side is suffix i will encounter a higher element yeah true but the same way rn you will do it in o of n square time for the array also no that's the beauty of the array the beauty of the array is that you can iterate on the array from the right side so i can iterate on the array from the right side also that's the beauty of the array i can iterate from left and right both so what i will do is i will take the prefix or the suffix i should say suffix max okay this is eight this is eight this is 30 again you can see i'm taking a suffix maximum maximum 13 it is another array you can say okay 13 or even if you don't want it you can just take a visit it or a bad array bad array bad array will say okay what all elements are bad and for that i just need the suffix maximum maximum so far okay 8 is maximum so far 8 is maximum so far so is it bad is this is this index bad no i have it i have it okay i'm good then okay again 8 is so far maximum 3 is less than 8 yeah it is a bad index it is a bad index or it's a bad index okay okay so far is 13 13 13 okay no it's a it's, it's a good index 13 2 is less than 13 yeah it is a bad index again 13 it's a again a bad index oh bad index now i know that this is the actual array with the indexes I can say these, these, these are the bad indexes which I should not take. So whatsoever is remaining, which means this and this, I will take. So I will iterate on the entire array again from left to right, and I will again just take these elements 13 and then 8. So this is how in just O of n time, because again iterating on the linked list O of n, then making this array, which is again iterating and making this array is a O of n time, then reverse do a do a reverse traversal and marking all of the ones which are bad i'll mark all, all of them which are bad again o of n time iterating o of n time and marking the ones which are bad but taking simply the prefix by taking simply the prefix sorry suffix max 
and with meanwhile i know even if i take a suffix max array or even if i take a bad array indicating the bad indexes i will actually encounter a space okay space also i am encountering o of n because of this line again this is the time which i am counting time and then when this entire bad array is made i will again have to iterate from left to right to make the entire linked list again o of n maybe you can also use the existing indexes also as in the existing nodes which are already made or you can make a new node itself both are possible so i will not in, so i will not count the extra space for this part okay this is one way to solve it you can see easily the time used is 3n and the space uses n the same way again if you don't if you want if you don't want you can also do it by using a stack how simply iterate on these elements from left to right okay while iterating keep on pushing the elements in the stack itself okay five next element is two okay again you just wanted that any one higher if i encounter so everyone which is lower previously should be removed everyone again any element i encounter anyone which is lower previously should be removed so if i encounter a 13 before even pushing 13 in the stack i will make sure okay everyone which is less than 13 should be popped out should be popped out so it he's less yeah popped out he's less popped out okay now push 13 i'm only pushing an element on the stack if i know that anyone existing in the stack should for sure be more than me as you remember five was there I push 2 because I know okay 5 is more than me okay I then I can go but as soon as I push on 13 I know okay all all everyone is actually less than me so remove them remove them okay remove from the stack 13 then 2 sorry then 3 yeah 3 can be pushed because he know that everyone is actually more than me but then 8 came in as soon as 8, 8 will come in he will say okay whosoever is, whosoever is less than me get out get out so he will actually remove this now 8 will be there so you know this is the final state final state of the stack now either you can just simply reverse the stack which means take another stack and then just reverse it down and then get these elements out 13 8 and build the array again or you can easily convert this entire stack into a vector and then use that vector to build your entire this stuff link list so you will see again you are using iterating on the entire list making a stack reversing the stack and then building the link list again same time and space will be used even if i use a stack operation so you saw okay you can actually tell the interviewer that you can either use a vector or a stack both will work but you will see the time used in both of them again i will remove the constant factor time is o of n but space also is o of n can i remove this extra space if i'm removing the extra space i will have to remove the operation of stack or a vector i was using but if i look closely what this vector was doing this vector was simply saying it trade on this entire list is in the link list get me the vector and then it trade from the end of the vector and mark the indexes at the bad indexes and ultimately in the next step remove those bad indexes okay if i break it down it trade on the list then get something then reverse do a reverse traversal oh i have a link list i have to do a reverse traversal the issue in a link list i cannot do a reverse traversal is because link list goes from left to right if i want to go from right to left simply reverse it so what i will do okay i have this list i know i have to do a reverse traversal which means from suffix i will simply reverse the list so i will simply reverse the list if you don't know how to reverse the list simply watch this one video that's it now when the list is reversed we know one thing for sure that things are sorted i can simply now iterate from left to right and i know that i will maintain the max so far as i was doing here also i was maintaining max so far and whosoever is less than max so far i will simply remove them and removing a node in the link list we already know we have already seen in this video also how to remove a node so this video will for sure cover everything for you but still i will tell you how to remove a node not reverse a link list so let's say you have reversed a link list now you know that you have to iterate on the list you have to maintain something called as max so far and you know that in the very beginning your max so far is the head value which is 8 so in the beginning max so far is 8 now iterate on the list and whosoever is less than max so far remove it so for that you know if i want to remove if i have three nodes i want to remove this node i know that 
I need to have a previous pointer which is P. I need to have a next pointer which is R. And if I want to remove this node Q, I will mark my P's next to R. This is how I actually remove a node Q. Right? So I know I, have, I need to have three pointers P, Q and R. I will take these three pointers and I will say okay. Now this is the Q which I am going to compare. Again, if you take these three pointers, make sure P is new head. Q is new heads next. Don't put R as Q's next because in the very beginning you never know. What if new head is the only node and new heads next is null. So this will give you a null pointer exception. So make sure that this R assigning you should not do in the very beginning. Assign it later on. When you know when Q is not null. Only then you assign your R. This is a standard technique which we have already seen in this video. Again, I am referring to this video again and again. If you have not watched it, it is a very super important for interviews. Make sure you watch it. Watch it. Now, coming on back, uh, we know P, Q and R. I will simply remove. I know this Q's value. I compare. If this Q's value is less than max so far, I need to remove this node Q. So, if this Q's value is less than max so far, remove the node Q. Else, simply move on. Move on and I, again, and as, as I say, I move on. I will update my max so far also because my max so far, as you can see, it can keep on updating as it was max so far is 8, 8, 13, 13, and 13. So I will update my max so far also. Now, if I just again, this is the entire thing which I have to do. That's it. If I break it down, how to remove the node Q? Simply, you know that you have P, Q, and R. You have to remove the node Q. So simply mark your P's next to R. P's next to R. And then shift your nodes if this is gone this q is gone if you want to shift it which means q should come here and r should come here q here r here how how it will happen simply by simply saying that wherever my r is r is q will come here and for sure r in the next iteration will automatically point to q's next so my main aim is to shift only p and q p will not shift here because p is still pointing here p never shifted because of the q getting removed so only Q will shift and Q will point here because Q should have the pre Q should have the previous node which is P only right now. Okay, this is a new state as you can see my number my node this node three is gone. Now this is a new state. Now what was the next state or next step? What could have happened if my Q value is more than equal to max so far? Simply I should keep on moving. Now as you can see this is the Q value. Firstly, it is more than max so far because max so far so far is 8. It is more than it. So simply, I know that I have to update my max so far. Update your max so far with the new Q value. Okay. Because you know, again, this will only happen when you enter the else condition. In the else condition, my Q value will for sure be more than equal to my max so far in this else, in this else condition. So I know, okay, I will just handle that. If I handle that, I need to make sure I shift all the two nodes, which means I will shift my P will come here. Q will come here and for sure R will automatically comes to Q's text which means as you can see I shifted from this PQ state to next PQ state as you can see here the P moved because I was good to go my because my max so far is updated because now now my max so far is 13 and the same way it because of the while loop which we have here itself this is thing this thing will keep on remove which will keep on repeating this will happen in the if condition if my q's value is less than max so far and this will happen in the else condition if my q's value is more than equal to my max so far and that's the only code if i show you the code exactly same that firstly i will have a base condition again head will not be null but if it is then if the head is null simply return the head if not firstly make sure to reverse the linked list again bro bro one thing even if even if you have it written on the entire list which means this list and you have removed these nodes which means three you have removed two you have removed five you have removed still this is not the answer this is not the answer answer is reverse of this node itself so make sure this is a new head reverse this link list so again i will reverse this link list i'll get a 13 8 and that is my actual answer which is 13 and 8 so make sure reverse the link list again so again if i go back i know that i have the head I will firstly reverse the link list with this new head, which is with the, with the existing head. I'll get the new head, which is the reverse link list head. Again, the reverse link list code is exactly the same as what we have been seeing. It is the iterative version. We have a recursive version also, but that will encounter a space. We wanted to reduce the space. We, we wanted to not use the space. That's the reason we use the iterative version of reversing the link list. 
now when this portion is done we will get the max so far get the p get the q get the r r is empty now while my q is not equal to null firstly get the r which is which is possible because q is not null then the if condition is remove the node which is q else is don't remove it shift everything which is p and q ultimately with this while loop keep on going you will get the correct answer and ultimately you will again have to reverse the list which is pointing to new head because new head was the reverse link list head again reverse it and assign to maybe head also what you whatsoever you want assign to head assign to new head anything that's up to you and then ultimately return this reverse link list head and that's your answer with this although o of n time here o of n time here o of n time here it is again o of 3 n time but the space is now reduced to o of 1 and that's your most optimal answer cool bye bye take care again if you like it please smash like button that's the only thing how you can help me by subscribing it again i know many people don't subscribe okay it's totally up to you but please like it and please share with your friends that's me that's going to be very helpful very very helpful it motivates it legit motivates because after doing all the works uh i'm already f up so it needs some motivation and that's gonna be because of you guys bye bye take care and again fourth question gonna be again around in three hours because firstly i have to make the notes and stuff and then i'll make the video Note checking will take around two hours and video making will around take one hour. Oh, bye, take care.